Hey guys, it's Barkley Simmer and welcome to my channel and to another video. So in this one, I'm going to be doing my first speed build. And first things first, I want to point out the fact that I am sick. So if I sound at all nasally or bad or weird or out of the sorts, that's why. And I'm kind of trying to talk lower because I can't. Uh, what's what's it called? Uh, how, how can I put this? Uh, I can't. I can't talk too loud or else it just like hurts my throat but uh yeah so I thought it would be awesome to start like a building series in my channel I thought I, I was I'd been watching them a lot lately and I was like oh that is so freaking cool so first the first thing I decided to do was look up some sort of reference photo on Google so I, uh, I typed in modern house or something like that and I saw, you guys, I saw the most beautiful houses. Like, I, I couldn't. So it was really hard to choose. But I thought I would go for this one. And if you guys hadn't already been able to tell from the thumbnail picture, it is kind of like a stone slash, I don't know, uh, wood themed kind of modern home on the exterior of the house. So anyways, what I try to do here is add like some sort of balcony, second floor balcony to the house. And I I was kind of contradicting on whether I wanted like the, uh, what's it called? Those little wooden stick things. I don't know what they're called. I'm so sorry. But I was, I was trying to decide on whether or not I wanted that. So I think I ended up removing it at the end. But uh... I I also went ahead and set in these like modern modern kind of uh, doors onto the house because I thought it was cool and here you see me uh, what's it, what's it called uh, trying to figure out what what to make the wallpaper and I was kind of struggling on this because I've never actually worked on. Uh, I can't think of the word right now, but I've never actually worked on like using different kinds of wallpapers on different kinds of walls on different walls and stuff. So this was new to me. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me just do a little reference here. If you ever see a house with with one like in The Sims 4 or The Sims 3 with one single wallpaper on the exterior of, of the house, aka the outside of the house, that is what I tried not to do because it just takes the professional side of it kind of out. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah. So I tried splitting the third level of this house, but I could not figure out how to do so. It was too, it was too tall for me, but I couldn't like here. I'm trying to just like make it seem so that I can like here, like, I don't know, I was trying to make that white part of the house a little shorter so that it blended in and it didn't look like a freaking tower just, like, got stuck in there. But I couldn't figure out how to do it, so I was like, you know what, you know what, you knows what, I'm just gonna leave it that way. You know what, it wants to be difficult, I'm just gonna leave it that way. So I left it alone and although it may look kind of odd I couldn't do anything about it and here the window I mean due to the lovely EA I couldn't I couldn't place a window in two levels so that kind of sucked but uh yeah so I just I'm just here putting all these kinds of moderny big open windows all over the house because modern houses do consist of lots and lots and lots of windows so I had to do that but I also love the look so it, it was definitely something I was like you know interested in doing so I thought it looked really nice and it fit well with the whole modern-y kind of look and I also like that little style of like highest to lowest kind of took it out of the camera but if you guys saw that I really kind of like that look so yeah it was kind of hard to decide what windows I wanted to put on this house, but uh, I eventually just figured it out and I was like, oh, okay. Because you see that small window down there? I, It actually did come with a house that I'd been referencing this this house to, this build to. 
So the picture that I w I'd been looking at to build this house consisted of like a tiny little squared window but it wasn't on the other side and me being the symmetrical freak I am could not stand it being that way so I think I ended up moving that later on and I also tried this little style with the plants in the front porch and I tried like doing that little I'm one like putting two in one kind of thing and sticking one out more than the other I thought it looked super freaking cool and like it was I don't know I just I went with it I like the look and I went with it y'all so here I'm just uh setting up the little I guess you can say garden kind of thing although it's not a technically a garden because we didn't have any harvestables or anything like that in the front porch area thingy <laughs> So I was just like decorating it with some flowers and lilies and I'm hoping that Sims can still walk through that. I They might not be able to but I'm hoping they still can somehow. But I really did like the way that the this little area turned out in the end. I think it was, I, I think personally it came out super, super freaking cute and I'm not one to particularly go out on a whim and like I mean, I don't do these kinds of things when I build houses, like, I'll just, I'll be super boring and just, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll simply, like, just build the house and I won't add, I, I won't bother adding no flowers, no rocks, none of that stuff, none of that stuff that takes, like, extra time. Oh, no, no, I, I just... I just build the the house, the walls, add a roof and shabam. But uh, I am trying to go out and out of my way, I guess you can say, out of my way and trying to be a little bit more creative and inciting, inciting, yeah, insightful with my house building and house building houses in general because I do want to get deeper into this so here I am I go into the interior of the house I'm adding the rooms and if this is on mega super speed build mode mode it's because I, I did want to make this build kind of fast so if it's a little too fast for you I'm so sorry but I was try I am trying to make the video kind of short for you guys and fit it all in fit several hours into 16 minutes so bear with me you guys but I, ha I have been going ahead and trying out this new little kind of technique where you add corner corners into the walls. I think you guys will notice that or you can see it or you might be able to at the end of the video. Or once you see the finished look, when I, which, is, which I will post at the end of this video. But uh, yeah, so I... I tried this out this new look where I'm adding corners into the walls and I like put stone on them so they look like they're kind of a separate thing to the house and I kind of didn't like the tile exterior wallpaper on the house on the outside of the house so I was like you know what I'm just gonna change it to like stone or whatever it is I changed it to I don't remember but yeah i'm kind of an indecisive person when it comes to building stuff and i just i wasn't feeling that that tile i was not feeling it so i was like you know what whatever so now we are going into the roofs i didn't have too much of a hard time with this i honestly didn't it was pretty simple because all you're doing is adding a flat roof and making it as flat as humanly possible <laughs> in in this game so <clears throat> I was a bit indecisive on what I on what I wanted the outer rim of this balcony to be, what color I wanted it to be, but I couldn't decide, so I, I, I don't ex particularly remember what I ended up choosing, whether it was brown or black, but here I am adding the lights to the house. If you guys know of a way to make the lights somehow invisible when playing the game, then let me know and put it down in the comments below because... I would so freaking love that. I mean, to have lights that don't even show up in game. You just have the lights, the light, just there, glowing, being mysterious and magical and, and beautiful. The way lights are supposed to be at night uh, would be pretty freaking awesome. So, yeah, I think I was watching a build the other day and I saw that the lights were invisible or maybe it was just me or maybe... I just they just weren't visible to us but they did look kind of invisible 
just a bit. So I was like, oh, how does she do that? But I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. So if you guys know how to do that, just leave it in the comments down below and I will be super happy to, uh, uh, to know how it is you do that. But I decided to make the thumbnail of this entire video the house at night because I thought it looked so freaking beautiful and I just couldn't pass, pass up that opportunity so I had to and I was kind of trying to figure out wh whether I wanted to extend the the roof or just add a separate one there but I couldn't so yeah are those floating lights don't don't tell me those are floating lights that would not be good yeah I'm pretty sure I went back and fixed it but this house did take me quite a while. I usually, I've never actually gone all out in house building, but it is something I have been getting myself into. I think it is super freaking fun. And I am also looking into room builds because those seem so much faster and easier to do. And not only that, I love working on ex on interior of, on the interior part of the house. And in this I actually couldn't decide on whether I wanted the entire the balcony going all around the house or just on the front. So I think what I ended up doing was I left it on the front, but I'm not sure. I do not remember, so do not hold me account for that. But now I am working on the kitchen. I kind of wanted to keep it moderny, but at the same time, I did want to use like my favorite counters of all freaking time in the Sims 4. So I had I couldn't pass up the opportunity to use these. I did try to make it a little fancier by adding that little fan type thingy over the oven. And this, I, I guess you could say that the house is quite expensive. I didn't look at the price, but it is a bit expensive. So here I'm trying to add like a little, uh, I guess you could say living or reading area. It's kind of like a mini little library kind of thing couldn't decide on whether I wanted those two bookshelves there. I think I ended up moving them because you could see them through the walls. And that flower, I yeah, I couldn't decide what sort of like flower to place on there. So I ended up putting a little a little nightstand, little nightstand there with a light. And that also came with outdoor retreat. So if you don't have the game pack, I'm so sorry, but I don't think it's going to be showing up in your game unfortunately guess I should have thought of that and put it down into consideration before I set it down but I guess I just didn't because I'm me I'm Hannah and I don't think about things sometimes so I these I, I believe these are custom content paintings but I'm not 100% sure, sure so don't hold me account for that either and I think this room was made a bit on the girly side but I'm not sure I don't think I made it too girly I, I think I tried to keep it like on the unisex side but I don't I don't even know anymore so I'm pretty sure you could still work with it and if you wanted to make it a guy's room just change up the color theme a little bit and you are good to go uh, but I think what I ended up doing was I changed that window oh yeah okay so I changed that door not the window duh, to a window and added like a little dresser and that same freaking outdoor retreat light which I'm so sorry for those of you who don't have the, the actual game it won't be showing up in yours, but I'm so sorry. I didn't think about it. I'm me and I <laughs> just, yeah. So, and, and be aware of the fact that I do not keep all these hanging lights there <laughs> in the house. I actually do end up moving them and replacing them with like a few other lights on the walls. Not particularly, particularly, yeah, yeah, uh-huh particularly hanging from the walls I do add some some of my favorite kinds of lights on the walls not on the roofs what am I even saying the ceiling ceiling lights I don't I don't I'm confusing I'm confusing you guys but uh there was that one pot wallpaper that we just got done showing and it is like some Peter Pan slash Wendy one and I thought it was yeah, yeah there we go we saw it again but uh, it's it's probably my favorite painting of all freaking time because it's Disney and it's Peter Pan and it's no and, and it's Snow White. Psh, it's Wendy. It's Peter Pan and Wendy, you guys. You get it. no words, no words. It is just oh god, I can't. Disney is just life. Disney is goals and life. And there it is again. 
Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Okay. I don't think it's a Peter Pan and Wendy kind of thing. I think it's more of a falling girl and Peter Pan tried to save her. But I'm not sure. Maybe Wendy ran out of like pixie dust or some sh shiz like that. I don't know. So here I tried to add like a little walkway slash opened desk area and i think i ended up getting rid of that painting because it was a little too extravagant for my taste so um yeah i just added a few little paintings there and some posters kind of geeking geeking it up a little bit i thought that those bunnies there looked so freaking cute it like behind the bathtub or beside it so i just left it there of course you guys are free to remove it but i thought it looked so freaking cute and here i am replacing the ceiling lights for the wall lights and i am just in love with those lights for the kitchen because they just look super nice and super modern i guess you could say so here i added like a little dining area for the family so anywho i'm going to stop talking now it is the end of the video and i love you all very very much hope you enjoyed this and be sure to download it as well if you like it and thumbs this video up subscribe and i will talk to you all very soon bye guys